What's up, my travel and foodie fan? Chef Q here, and today we are serving up sushi. to show you how to make sushi rice and got to fillet this whole salmon for our sushi. Wow. Check out that salmon. It's huge. Now a little bit of my background as a sushi chef. Uh, I've been a sushi chef for about uh, 16, 17 years and I own a restaurant for five years, a sushi restaurant for five years. So even though I am not Japanese, I think I'm pretty qualified to show you how to make sushi rice uh, and of course how to make sushi and probably how to fillet the salmon too all right well enough of that let's get started all right let's get started with the sushi rice vinegar so over medium heat we need one cup of water two pieces of kombu bring to a semi boil then add in three cups of rice vinegar two cups of brown sugar and four teaspoon of salt. Whisk it until all your sugar dissolves. Bring to a semi-boil again and add in one handful of bonito shavings. Turn off the heat and let cool down to room temperature. Afterward, use a strainer and strain it out. Make sure to press out all of the flavor from the bonito shavings and the kombu. Your rice vinegar should have a golden, clear, dark color like this. Set that aside for later use. As for sushi rice, I use a short grain rice. You can also use medium grain rice. Wash your rice until your water is super clear. This takes about 8 to 10 rinse, depending on your rice brand. Then fill your water a little bit under your cup measure. And let soak for at least 10 minutes before cooking. After the rice is cooked, leave in there for at least 5 minutes. Your rice should be steaming hot when you mix in the vinegar. Remember, discard any burnt rice. Pour over the vinegar mixture just enough to cover the rice. Don't worry about the excess vinegar. The hangiri, which is the wooden bowl that we mix it in, should suck up all of the excess vinegar. Slice through the rice and flipping it gently. Make sure not to smush the rice. Use a clean wet cloth to scrape down any rice that is sticking on the side. Spread out the rice evenly and let cool. Let rest for about 10 minutes. Then come back and flip the rice over gently spreading it out again. Then leave to rest and cover with your wooden lid. And this is your perfect sushi rice. So if your sushi rice is too wet or if you didn't rinse your rice good enough, your sushi rice will have this gooey stuff in between them. Like slimy stuff, but this one doesn't. It's very dry and it doesn't, doesn't Thick much. Now this is a 20 pound Baca Frost Atlantic Salmon, but this is sushi grade uh, quality already. Uh, but if you're making it at home and if you're buying just regular salmon outside, so you should freeze your salmon for at least uh, 72 hours. But this salmon is from a sushi supplier and I actually froze this salmon already uh, in their commercial freezer for 48 hours. I usually use the upper part of the salmon and the salmon belly for sashimi and nigiri. From the mid down to the tail, I use them for rolls, ham rolls, or maki. There's a couple ways to portion this. If you're eating the whole salmon right away, skin them and portion them into blocks like these. 
If there's too much salmon, you can portion them by pieces like these. Wrap them up and put it in the freezer until later use. Using a spoon, scrape out any meat that's left on the salmon bones. You can make good use of the head and any other dishes. To make spicy salmon, just add sriracha, a little bit of sesame oil, a little bit of fura kake rice seasoning, and you can add mayonnaise if you want. But since salmon is fatty enough already, I don't use mayonnaise. First up, salmon maki. Then we got the salmon belly nigiri. The fun thing about being a sushi chef is you can make up anything on the spot. Here I'm using salmon belly wrapped in a little bit of rice, topped with uni. And this is a gunkai nigiri, which is just rice wrapped in a seaweed strap, some shiso leaf, and topped with our spicy salmon. And of course, our traditional salmon sashimi. And for the spicy salmon hand roll, there's some avocado, spicy salmon, a little bit of rice, some fish eggs, a little bit of daikon, and some chives. You can wrap it up in a cone or just leave it as is to eat like a taco. Okay, it is time to eat. Whew, don't want my sushi to get warm. <laughs> okay, wow, check this out. It's all salmon, so this is just a portion of it. There are like so many ways where you can fix um, salmon for sushi or sashimi or carpaccio. I think I'm gonna make a carpaccio later on too. Using this tamari, I made my own soy sauce. You know how the soy sauce where uh, the Japanese chef would brush on the sushi? This is it. Uh, so to make this is one cup of uh, kombu dashi which is just water and seaweed uh, three cups of tamari soy sauce uh, and half a cup of mirin and also one cup of sugar bring to a semi boil or until all the sugar is all melted and then throw in a handful of bonito shavings uh, let it rest for about 10 15 minutes and then filter it out and you got your soy sauce sushi soy sauce it's just more flavor okay Try this. Mmm. Mmm. A spicy salmon hand roll. Mmm. Wow. Yeah. It's spicy. You get that um, sesame oil full of flavor. Mmm. And we got this wasabi here. So this comes in a small pack. It's Kizami wasabi, which is a uh, chopped up wasabi stem so this is salmon belly wrapped around rice uni on top and top with truffle and olive oil a little bit of that um wasabi on top wow the smell of that truffle this is actually my first time having this sliced truffle <laughs> Mmm. Oh my god. Wow. 
Mmh. Oh man. Let me just enjoy this for a bit. Oh my god. Wow. Uni with truffle and salmon belly. Woo. All right. I'm gonna try my best to explain how this tastes. So when you bite into it, you get that truffle, earthy truffle smell and flavor just hits you, right? And then comes the uni. You get that sweet sea flavor that just melts in your mouth. And then this salmon belly is fatty, but this salmon is so fresh that when you bite into it, like it just bursts out in fat, like, ah, oh, and a little bit of saltiness from the soy sauce and that hint of wasabi stem. Oh man, yeah, this is amazing. Wow, the truffle and the uni, it's a really good combination. Well, that is it guys. I hope your sushi rice turns out perfect following my recipe. And if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more travel, food, and recipe videos. All right guys, peace.